One of the most underutilized ways to stand out on LinkedIn is by using a carousel post. Now, if you don't know what a carousel post is, it's basically where a post has more than one image or slide as part of it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a carousel style post on LinkedIn with a PDF. That's right. You can upload PDFs as content, part of your post on LinkedIn. If you want to stand out in your feed, sometimes you have to do things a little bit different. You have to do what others aren't. And this is one of those ways that I try to put into practice every once in a while, instead of sharing a link, instead of just posting one image, instead of sharing a video clip, sometimes I will also use PDF in a carousel style post, which is different. And by sharing information and sharing knowledge, it helps me stand out to my crowd. Hey, if this is the first video you're stumbling upon, my name is Lowell Brown. My company is Going Social, and I take the complicated out of digital and social media marketing for small businesses and make the complex a little more easy and simple. Now, before we get into this video, I want to make sure that you don't miss any of my future upcoming videos. Make sure to like and subscribe below, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified every time I produce a new video. Now, let's flip over to an on-screen demo. I'm going to take you into Canva first. We're going to create some social media graphics. We're going to export them, and then I'm going to show you how to post this style of carousel post in LinkedIn. It's really simple. It's not going to take long. Let's get into it right now. All right, so we're here in Canva. The first thing that we need to do is create our design, create the actual sizing the graphics. And if you don't know, across most of different social platforms, a carousel style post is usually a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's a square. Um, commonly 1080 by 1080 is uh, a perfect sizing. If you go into Canva and go into the search bar on the top here under created design, you can either search for Instagram and I know we're doing this on LinkedIn, but if you do Instagram square, you'll see it's 1080 by 1080. You could also look for LinkedIn post. And if you find that, you'll notice that that's 1200 by 1200. Either option will work. Um, and all you would do is, cr is click on that and it would create a new canvas for you with a square uh, template. Now I'm gonna save us a little time here. I previously recorded a video where I demonstrated how to use Canva and automate creating social media graphics. We're gonna use that same template in this video. If you wanna see that video, click the link right up here and I'll give you that demo of how we created these really fast and easy um, social media graphics using a template and we automated the creation of multiple posts. But let's go back into Canva mode. We're gonna take that graphic template, we're gonna modify it a little, and then I'm gonna show you how we use that for LinkedIn. So let's go back right now. Okay, so let's grab that template that I had created previously. And we're just gonna scroll down and it's right here. So. If you haven't watched the video, you can click on my playlist below. I'll have a link in the description of a video I recorded where I created these exact graphics. Not only did I use a uh, template in Canva, which we modified, I also used the bulk create feature in Canva to show how easy it is to automate the creation of multiple social media post graphics. Saves a lot of time when you're preparing your social media posts. In this example, I'm using this because it's five slides. It's really easy. It's already done. They look great. So if you'll go through, you'll notice this was five LinkedIn tips for growing your um, engagement and your following on LinkedIn. So we have number one, engage your audience with compelling content. Number two, use eye-catching visuals to grab attention. Number three, network with industry leaders for more exposure. Number four, optimize your profile for maximum impact. And five, leverage LinkedIn groups to reach a wider audience. What we would typically do when we wanna create a carousel post is I've got these five graphics. What I would do is export it in Canva as a PDF. Then you import that PDF, create a post in LinkedIn. It's that simple. But we wanna modify this a little bit and I'm actually gonna show you um, something that we're gonna do now, because it's a carousel post, instead of just posting five images like this, even though they're numbered and it shows a sequence, I wanna actually add a little visual to this. So I'm gonna actually copy this. So I'm going to, uh, cause I, I do wanna just keep this, I wanna save it. So I'm going to make a copy and we're gonna open that up. And what I wanna do is add an arrow on this design 
so that we can kind of link the slides together. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in a second. So if we go over here to graphics, um, let's just grab something like this. This looks good. Okay. So I'm going to adjust the color of this. Sorry. Um, let's go with a lighter blue. How about that? Um, that one was pretty good or that. Okay. We'll use this. So what I'm going to do is on this first slide, I'm going to leave this like this. Okay. We've got a position there, copy. And then on this slide, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate it so we can line things up and there you can see that it's kind of lined up and we're going to move this one over a bit. So they're still lined up. Okay. Copy, copy. And we're going to copy those. We're going to do it so that they appear in the same spot, in the same spot. And we're good there. Now, the reason why I did this again, I'm going to go back and show you by clicking this here. Now you can see how there's arrows. So it's kind of showing somebody um, how it, it kind of links together. So what I'm actually going to do is see that looks good how it's got it like that. This first one, that's okay. It's just got the arrow. So you'll see how it links across and it shows how they're linking together, right? So let's actually go back to this one and I do want to add that tip again. So we'll just move this one out of the way. Okay. So now we've kind of got it and you can see how it's got the arrow showing that we're there, right? Looks pretty cool. So that's it. Those are our graphics. I mean, it was that easy to make them. Um, we've got our five graphics. All I did was I added the arrow just so that it's kind of got that that impression of, of linking next um, image to the other one. You'll see how that works once we post it on LinkedIn, which we'll do in just a second. And now the most important part is how do you export these graphics? We've got the five slides together. Normally I would export these as five individual images, but in this case, I don't want to do that. So we're going to go down to download. And we, instead of PNG, we want to make sure that this is PDF standard. Now, PDF standard, the difference between standard and print is print is higher quality. So it's going to be a bigger file size. Um, it's usually used for printing when you need to have higher resolution because this is on the web. Um, we're just going to go with PDF standard. We are going to make sure that we've got all five pages selected. We click download and that's it. It's going to download. It's going to save to our computer. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you into LinkedIn. We're going to go to my profile and I'm going to show you how we post this on the profile. Let's do that right now. Okay. So just a quick recap before we go to the next step in this process. The first thing we did was we went in Canva, we set up a one by one about 1080 by 1080 or 1200 by 1200 is perfectly fine. We set up a canvas in that size and then we set a series of different slides that we're going to use and save as a PDF. The one thing I did a little bit different in this example was that I added an arrow on the slides and I'll show you why I did that when we do our posts. And it's just basically to um, give a visual cue to people to know that there is a next slide or something else they can see in the carousel. You don't have to do this. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't, but it's just another example, another little tip for you. Um, so again, what we did was we exported that as PDF standard from Canva. So we'll have a PDF. All you have to do is add that when you do your post on LinkedIn and let's go back now to LinkedIn and screen sharing mode. And I'll show you how to do that as we finish off this video. Okay, so we're back here in LinkedIn. We're on my profile now. Um, and what you would do now, typically you're gonna be looking for something to do and it, would it be post an image? No, that's not it. It's not post a video. It's not write an article. We're gonna be attaching a document as our post here. So what you first have to do is actually just go to start a post. It's that simple, just start a post. And when you get to that, you're going to see this is kind of a newer layout on LinkedIn. 
Um, typically, they you might see where they have these little icons along the bottom and one of them would be document. We're just gonna click under more here and you still won't see it on your profile here. Um, again, because this is a uh, not as frequently used item, it's not front and center, but just click the little arrow here and you're going to see document. So you wanna click on that and you can choose a file from your computer or you can drag it in. So I'm just gonna grab it from my other screen here. We're gonna pop it in and you're just going to click on choose file, my downloads, and it's gonna upload. And now you have to give your document a title. So it's kind of like the title of a post. You'll see that it popped up the image and the preview for me. So I'm just going to copy and paste the post content that I created already for this. So the title we've got here, five tips to help you grow following on LinkedIn. Click done. Now you see how the post looks and this is why I added the arrow. So if I was just looking at the post, you don't see any icons on it and it looks like um, it's one image. If you put your mouse over it though, you'll notice that there's an arrow here so you can click on anywhere on the side to go to the next slide or you've got this little scrolly thing across the bottom where you could go to the different slides. So that's why I added that visual, that arrow, the visual cue on the graphic. So if we click done, that's gonna how it's gonna show up in our feed and we can add a description as well. So I'm just going to use this as my description. I've already pre-prepared it. So to save some time, just gonna add a little emoji here. Check out a recent video where I showed how to automate the creation of these exact graphics using Canva. Watch now. That's it. And then all we have to do, and then usually I will add a couple ta hashtags, LinkedIn marketing, tips, and then going social. Okay, and I'm actually going to post this all right, so we're, we're actually going to switch out of this because I did want to post it to my company page. Well, that's a good demo actually because I want to post this on my business page, not my personal profile, but you'll see the process was the exact same. And again, I'm just going to run through the same way to do it on my business page. We go to document, select that document. You've got it. We grab the title again. We add our copy and that's it. And then we click post and there it is right there. So that's it, simple and easy. Didn't take us very long. Um, again, all you have to do is create a PDF, upload it as a document on a post in LinkedIn and the carousel will automatically be created for you. You add a title and then you add post copy and you just post it, it's that simple. I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comments if you plan on trying a LinkedIn carousel post in the near future. I'd love to hear how it goes. Let me know your experience in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe below. That way, whenever I create a new video, you'll get notified and you won't miss anything else. And be sure to also check out other LinkedIn marketing demos that I have. Just click the playlist up here and you'll find more of those great videos. And again, I hope this helps you with your marketing efforts. Once again, my name is Lil Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of digital and social media marketing and make it a little more simple and easy for you, saving you time and frustration. I'll see you in the next video. And that's a wrap. Bye-bye.